I can't believe it, but it looks like it's finally happening. Yes, P. Diddy was arrested in New York just a couple of hours ago. So according to TMZ, Diddy's arrest was scheduled for Tuesday, but something happened that caused the feds to move in a day earlier. And I wonder what it was that caused the feds to expedite this process. Maybe they had a feeling that Diddy was trying to leave the country and pull a Russell Simmons on us. I don't know. But going back to the TMZ article, it was reported that Homeland Security, and child, when Homeland Security is involved, it is a big deal, came to the hotel where he was staying and arrested him. Now, we don't know if his room is being searched, but we're told that he was taken to the FBI office in Manhattan. And this whole debacle has been a part of an ongoing criminal investigation in regards to some pretty terrible offenses, some of which I cannot say on YouTube because of their policies. But I will say, if you're not caught up on the story, I will gladly link my previous Diddy video. And it's best to watch that first so you can get caught up on what's going on right now. But now that Diddy's arrested, I'm wondering what's gonna happen to all his little associates, like his girlfriend, Young Miami, Miss Pink Cocaine, you know, supporting her man, moving weight all throughout the US. And you know what? I don't think they're dating anymore, but I do have a feeling that she's probably gonna have to show up in court and testify against him on the witness stand or something. And I also didn't forget about Miss Daphne Joy, 50 Cent's baby mama, the one who was a worker at some of Diddy's infamous parties. And at those parties, I'm pretty sure he was not the only one orchestrating it. He probably has a boatload of industry friends who were partaking in some of the weird stuff that was going on over there. With everything coming to light, I wouldn't be surprised if we start hearing some big names being dropped. I mean, this could really shake up the industry. Even Diddy's sons, yes, his sons used to accompany him to his wild parties, so it makes you wonder what kind of sick environment were they exposed to at such a young age. It'll be interesting to see if they get caught up in the investigation or if they'll be able to distance themselves from the situation. But I will say that Cassie, oh my gosh, she really created a ripple effect. I mean, if it wasn't for her coming out against Diddy, I doubt that we'd be seeing all of this unfolding. Her courage to speak up against this powerful and evil man has really opened the door for others to share their stories too. And it seems like all the dominoes are finally starting to fall. And I hope and pray that all the survivors have some sort of security because when you're going up against someone like Diddy, who has all this power, influence, connections, things could get dangerous. So it's important that they have some sort of protection and support as they go through this journey because it's going to be long. And well, it looks like the beginning of the end for Diddy. I mean, with so many allegations coming to light, it feels like his so-called empire is starting to crumble. And with that being said, thank you guys for watching my video. I post weekly, so expect more updates, deep dives, and all the latest drama. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next vid.